Kia ora team and welcome to our third video on achievement standard 91328 where we're looking at uh, biomechanics but more specifically today we're having a look at Newton's three laws of motion. Learning outcome for today is to be able to de define each of Newton's three laws and be able to describe real world sporting examples of Newton's three laws of motion in action. First of all let's have a look at Sir Isaac Newton. He was one of the greatest scientists and mathematicians that ever lived. He was born in England on December the 25th in 1643, and he was born the same year as that Galileo died. But Galileo was a guy we mentioned previously. He lived for 85 years. Sir Isaac Newton was raised by his grandmother. He attended a free high school and then went on to Trinity College in Cambridge. Newton worked his way through college, um, and while doing so, became interested in math, physics, and astronomy. He graduated with both a bachelor's and a master's degree. While Newton was in college, he was writing his ideas in a journal. He had some pretty interesting ideas about motion, which he called his three laws of motion. He also had ideas about gravity, the diffraction of light, and forces. Newton's ideas were so good that he received a knighthood in 1705. His accomplishments really laid the foundations for modern science and revolutionised the world. Sir Isaac Newton died in 1727. Newton's first law is called the law of inertia, and it states that an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. This means that there is a natural tendency of objects to keep on doing what they're doing. All objects resist changes in their state of motion. In the absence of an unbalanced force, an object in motion will maintain the state of motion. For a sporting example, when performing a set shot in basketball, unless the shooter applies a force through the hand to shoot the ball into the air, the ball will sit on the shooter's hand, remaining at rest. Newton's second law is, is called the law of acceleration. And this law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force causing it, as in the same direction as the force, and is inversely proportional to the mass of the object. This law can be expressed with the following equation, force equals mass times acceleration. In other words, the more force used to move an object, the larger its acceleration will be in the direction that the force was applied. A less massive object will accelerate more than a more massive object for the same given force. A sporting example of Newton's second law, uh, we're going to use uh, two athletes here. Jacko Gill is a New Zealand shot putter. In 2010, Jacko won the shot put title at the World Junior Championship, surpassing his same bolt as the youngest ever male world champion. As Jacko progresses through these grades, the mass of the shot put he needs to throw increases. Starting at 5 kilograms in the youth grade, he then throws a 6 kilogram shot put in the juniors before moving on to a 7.25 shot put in the open senior grade. We know that according to Newton's second law, a less massive object will accelerate more than a more massive object for the same given force. If Jacko was to throw the senior shot put as far as he has thrown the youth shot put, he would need to apply much more force to the senior shot put. As it currently stands, Jacko has thrown the youth shot put over 4 metres further than the senior shot put. To look at it in another way, more force is required to increase the acceleration of an object if the object's mass remains the same. For example, a golf, a golf ball's mass does not change, but a putted golf ball will not accelerate as quickly or travel as fast as one hit with a driver because of the effort or the force that the golfer and Tiger Woods in that picture applies to the ball. Newton's third law, the law of reaction, states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. This law shows that forces act in pairs. Newton's third law of motion states that for every force that is exerted by one body on another, there is an equal and opposite force exerted by the second body on the first. Sporting example for Newton's third law, when Michael Jordan dunked from the free throw line, he performs the action of driving his foot into the ground. This is called an action force and is indicated by the blue arrow. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. 
In this instance, there is a ground reaction force indicated by the orange arrow. This reaction force is equal to the action force from Michael Jordan and propels him towards the basket for the dunk. So just a short video today. I um, appreciate you taking the time to watch it. Please complete your whisk sheet before our next theory session and make sure you come up with a really good uh, question to present to your group. Cheers.